We're at iMedical Equipment and Service. We're doing an overview on the Hilron P1900 Total Care Sport 2. This would be what I refer to as setup instructions and just a basic um, instructional video on the bed itself. This is for people that have the bed and this video will help kind of give you an overview of some of the features. Uh, sometimes uh, it's easier to see some of the features being used and kind of go through a video. Uh, for me, I think sometimes it's easier for me to do that than it is to go through a manual, however, uh, for, for each their own. But in this video, what I'm going to do is just show you the basic setup and instructional video on this bed. Hilron P1900 Total Care Sport 2 has a touch screen system. I did this video about maybe four years ago on the Sport 1. So this will be just a good overview if anybody out there has the Sport 2 bed. Um, so basically the bed as it comes is shrunk in. So this bed, the foot section shrinks in and when we send the bed obviously in order to reduce the length and make it easier to get into a home or a facility, we're going to shrink it down to its uh, shortest mm -hmm. feature. And what we're going to do is we're going to come right down here to the control panel and if I just uh, tighten this up, you can see where I've got foot in or foot out. I'm going to just go ahead and press the foot out. And as I do that, you're going to see that it's going to extend the length of the bed. Now, if the bed has been turned off and it's coming in, uh, this is going to activate the mattress feature. Uh, so as you extend the bed out, that's going to activate the mattress. Um, the shorter foot section, if uh, the person has their, their feet extended out or their their feet are flat um, and you want to straighten out their legs and help stretch out their calves, you can bring the bed in shorter. You can see that the foot uh, would help straighten out the foot and uh, that is a feature that you can also use. You also have the ability, the ability to um, elevate the legs for a more comfortable position and then you also have the ability to lower that so you can raise and lower the legs uh, in the bed itself. Now you've got your basic functions which are going to be head up and down, foot up and down, and then the entire bed itself up and down. And then you also have probably the most popular feature of this bed, which is the chair position. And this is, once again, probably the only bed that I know of that we sell that actually goes into a full chair position where your feet touch the ground. Now you also have your Trendelenburg and reverse Trendelenburg. Um, when you get done putting the bed into a chair position and you want to flatten it back out, you're going to hit this flatten it out button or basically just the flat position. And then boost is uh, basically for trying to move the person back up towards the head of the bed. So if somebody slides down to the foot of the bed and you're trying to get them back up, that boost section is going to help you do that. So those are some of your basic controls on the uh, on the. Uh, on the bedside rails. The patient's going to have their controls on the inside. You also over here have a, um, a little button that's going to show you with that little bead what the degree of the head section is. And as you can see, 30 degrees is marked clearly. So is 45. The reason being is that um, for cardiac or different types of medical conditions, you want the patient at at least a 30 degree head angle. So that's also going to be there. Um, we'll just run down here quick as long as we're going through this. Kick the brake down. You always want the brake down. Uh, this button right here, this kick down uh, red section, if you press that down, it's going to drop the head section down. Um, and that's for CPR release if you ever get an emergency. This kick button right here, this kick pedal, if you start kicking that and uh, pushing it up and down, that's a hydraulic piece and that's going to operate the bed if you ever lose power. It'll look, work only for these features. So you can get somebody flattened out, uh, get them out of a chair position, but if you start using this kick pump down here um, in case of an emergency, uh, you, you can still use these buttons right here and uh, that's with a good battery system. That'll go into a battery backup system. So uh, that's another feature that the bed has. Now, um, I've done individual videos on a lot of the features. The one thing I want to stress that's very important is that the mattress system <clears throat> works based on the weight of the patient. So the first thing you've got to do when you get this bed is you've got to use the scale. And you've got your basic features. But... Um, since that's a very important feature, what we're going to do is just run you through that. And the first thing you're going to do when you hit that is you're going to zero out the scale. So you hit zero. What that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and that's going to weigh the patient. And then once that patient weight is done, it's going to say, okay, 
you can adjust the weight if you need to. Um, in this case here, you would go with pounds instead of kilograms. Uh, and then you're going to go right up here, and once that's zeroed out, you're going to go ahead and hit weigh patient. So when you get this hospital bed, um, please go through and make sure that you do that first. It's very important to make sure that the mattress firmness is adjusted based on the weight of the patient. Um, you've got your main menu. We'll go through that real quick, but that's just going to kind of give you an overview. Um, OptiRest is basically, I've just turned that on in our last video that we did, but the... Um, the OptiRest feature is a very important feature because it basically runs almost like a uh, wave of air through the bed. And the OptiRest feature you can see here um, is, uh, is it basically a wave like, but what it does is it changes the pressure points on the body. So um, I suggest if, you know, if the person, if the patient is, uh, is, is acceptable and it doesn't bother them that you run that uh, OptiRest feature. Um, bed exit alarms, not really going to go too much into that. That's really main for hospital use, but your bed exit alarm system can be used a few different ways. Uh, it can be used, um, um, it's a three-stage bed exit alarm. It can be used for people getting out of bed. It can be used if there's movement or if an arm or leg goes over the bed, and you're also able to change the, uh, the volume of the alarm. But for anybody that's worried about people getting out of bed, but I'm not really going to spend too much time on that. Uh, surface, max inflate. Uh, you're going to use max inflate to uh, inflate the firmness of the mattress if you need to get a sling or a uh, transfer board under. So if you're getting ready to transfer the person and you're trying to get a sling underneath them, you hit max inflate. It's going to help inflate the mattress to make it easier to slide something underneath them. Turn assist left, turn assist right. Uh, that's going to help turn the, per the person over um, if they are... Uh, needing a bath or if you need to change out bed linens or uh, anything related to that it's a temporary turning feature uh, seat deflate you normally want that on if the person's going to be going into a chair position and then you have the opti rest feature which is very simple it's stop and start uh, the last video i just did i just turned it on so it was on start so um, those are your features that you've got there for the for the main general surface. Um, the main features that you're going to have with the bed itself are the rotation feature, super super user friendly, um, easy to use. I'm going to hit rotation first. Now it's you can determine the degree of angle. So I'm just going to push that down. You can see I can go 10 degree. I can go all the way down to 100 degree turn. And uh, based on what the comfort level of the patient is, this is going to turn them throughout the night or for as long as you need them to do that. I've got it at 80 now. I'll just go ahead for the sake of the video and I'll change it to 40. And uh, you can see I just changed it now to 40. Um, here you can adjust uh, the, the amount of time in between the, the turning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this at 30 minutes. So it's going to be 30 minutes or less. You can keep the patient being turned. And... Uh, that's going to basically assist caregivers to keep the person moving, which in turn changes the pressure points of the body and is also helpful for treating, reducing pressure wounds, bed sores, those types of things. Uh, always going to bring them back to the center. Uh, you can once again determine how long you want that to sit in the, in the center for. And then uh, once again, I'm, I'm just going to kind of Five minutes might be a little bit short, but I'm just going to change this just to show you how easy it can be done. Uh, so we'll change that to 15 minutes. I'm going to hit OK, and then that's done. Now, to start the rotation process, it's just as easy as just coming right here and hitting Start Therapy. So it really is a very simple process. Yes, I do want to go through that, and I'm going to start Yes. And then uh, basically what's going to happen is... Uh, it's going to go through the rotation and you can see it's in progress and now it's starting the rotation process now at any time that i want to stop this all i do is come in here and just click stop it's really that easy and yes i do want to stop it i'm just trying to walk you through this as quickly as possible without making the video too terribly long and uh and then i'm going to go back over here to therapy i want to do the percussion vibration uh percussion vibration basically is set up to um help knock out the congestion in the lungs. It's what we would call a pulmonary feature. Um, you have a low, medium, and high setting. Um, I've got it on medium now, but let's say I want to put it on high. Um, I'm just going to go ahead, press that, and I'll go to uh, high and hit that. And I can change the 
the beats per second. I can change the duration for percussion and both vibration. And then uh, the degree of turn, basically it's trying to turn the person side to side to get complete access to the lungs in the back. It only really works on the upper part of the mattress system. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, start therapy. And uh, as I hit start therapy, you're going to hear as soon as it starts going, it's going to start thumping the upper part of the mattress. So right now what's happening is um, it's starting the therapy process. So that has just gotten started. And um, once again, super easy to, to work on. I'm just going to go ahead and hit stop therapy. And then we're going to say yes. So um, this once again, I'll turn that off. But these are the basic features. This is your setup. Once again, extending the leg piece out, um, getting the mattress turned on, um, making sure that you weigh the patient down here with the scale feature. Um, and then if you ever need a backup uh, power, you've got your kick pedal down here, you've got your CPR release, make sure the brakes are set at all times, um, and just your general overview of this video on the P1900 Total Care Sport. At iMedical Equipment and Service, we sell these hospital beds fully refurbished, reconditioned. Uh, these beds work on hydraulics. The hydraulics usually are the things that will cause issues with this bed. So we can sell these beds many times when we do sell them. We'll, we'll go ahead and replace all the hydraulics, hydraulic valves, all those different parts and pieces. And we can remanufacture these back to new condition, strip down to the frame, and then go through an assembly line where they're completely rebuilt in brand new condition. We sell these to hospitals, medical centers, home care, nursing homes. Um, so once again, this is the Hillrom P1900 Total Care Sport 2. This is an instructional overview. Um, for more information, give us a call, San Diego, California, 858-263-4894, Richmond, Virginia, 804-929-6886. And for more information, www.the number one, or excuse me, www.imedicalshop.com iMedical Equipment and Service looking at the Hillrom Total Care Sport 2. We are your number one spot for Hillrom based hospital beds refurbished and reconditioned.